In this episode, we are going to solve example 2 on the Guas Jordan elimination method. So it says use the Guas Jordan elimination method to solve the linear system of equations. So this is our equation 1, this is equation 2, and this is equation 3. And we are to solve them using the was Jordan elimination method. Are we okay? So first, let's try to write our matrix and find A by C. So that is going to be, from equation 1, we are going to have the matrix as 1, 2, 3, and that is equal to 9. Equation 2 is going to give us 1, 3, 4 and that is 11 and from equation 3 there's no x so that's 0 negative 6 negative 10 that's equal to negative 24 this way so here we are to convert everything on the principal diagonal to 1 then every other element to 0 very good so let's try to do that so the first thing I want to do is to convert this one to zero. And I'm going to apply the root equation two. So now on root two, I'm going to say row one minus row two. Meaning row one is going to stay the same. One, two, three by nine. On row three, everything is going to be the same. Zero, negative six, negative 10. And that is negative 24. Row 2, that is row 1 minus row 2. That is 1 minus 1. And it's 0. 2 minus 3. That is minus 1. 3 minus 4. That is also giving me minus 1. And 9 minus 11. That is going to give me minus 2. Are we good? So I have this for now. Which part should I turn to zero again? I would like to turn this negative six to zero. Are we good? So I'm going to apply an equation to rule three. And I'm going to say six times rule two minus rule three. This is going to happen on rule three. Meaning rule one is the same. One, two, three by 9. Row 2 is the same, 0, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2. And on row 3, 6 times row 2, so 6 by 0 minus row 3, still 0. 6 by negative 1, which is negative 6, minus minus 6, that would be 0. 6 by negative 1, minus minus 10 that is positive 4 and 6 by negative 2 minus negative 24 that is going to give me positive 12 are we good all right so i have this now i want to turn this to positive 1 and turn everything here to positive on the second row are we good so meaning on row 2, I'm going to say negative multiplied by row 2. And to turn this 4 to positive 1, that will be 1 fourth multiplying row 3. Meaning row 1 is not affected. That is 1, 2, 3 by 9. Row 2, that's 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1. And this is going to be 3. I have it this way. So now I have to also turn this 2, this 3, and this 1 to 0. What do I do? So I'm going to apply two formulas. One to the first row and one to the second row. So to turn this 2 to 0, I'm going to say row 1 
minus two times row two, and that will happen on row one. Then on row two, I want to turn this one to zero. So I'm going to say row two minus row three. So row three is going to be the same, which is zero, zero, one, three. Now let's look at row two. That is row two minus row three. Zero minus zero, and that is going to be zero. One minus zero, that is also going to be one. This one minus one, that is going to be zero. Two minus three, that is going to be negative one. Now on row one, I'm going to have row one minus two times row two. So one minus two by zero, that is one. Two minus two by one, that is going to be zero. And here we are going to get three minus two by one, that is going to give me positive one. And nine minus two by two, that is going to give me five. So this is what I have now. I'm left with this one to turn to zero, then I can find my solution. So let's try to turn this one to a zero and see what we will get. So trying to turn it, I'm going to say, now on row one, I'm going to say this formula is going to apply row one minus row three, and I'm going to apply it on row one. Meaning row three is going to be the same, zero, zero, one, and that is three. Row two is going to be the same, zero, one, zero, and that is negative one. And on row one, this is going to be row one minus row three, one by zero, that is one. Zero by zero, that is zero, and one by one, that is also going to give me zero now five minus three and that is going to give me two so looking at this i've turned this into the identity matrix are you okay so now this represents our z this represents our y and this represents our x so straight away from the solution our x which is the first rule is going to give us two and the second row our y is also going to give us negative one and on the third row which is our z is also going to give us a positive three so using the was jordan method to solve this equation these are the answers you are going to get it's quite simple make everything on the principal diagonal one everything else zero and you'll get your answer very simple thank you for watching this episode kindly subscribe to the channel share the video and let's hear your comments